Hi, I'm Kristen St. Clair with Martha Stewart Crafts. You know, stencils are a great way to add a creative touch to many surfaces. Today I'm going to show you how to use our large paper stencil to decorate a tote bag. Let's get started. So I've gathered my supplies. I have stencils, tape, brushes, paint, a plate for the paint, some paper towels, and my tote bag. Now for this project, I'm going to use our quadrifoil design from our Patterns and Shapes stencil set. The first thing I have to do is punch out all the little pieces. They come out really easily. So here's what the pattern looks like when all the pieces are punched out. It's going to look great on my tote bag. I have my tote right here, and I've prepared a piece of cardboard to put inside the bag so that when I'm painting, the paint doesn't go through to the other side. Now I can, I'm going to align my stencil to the seam of the bag, just like this. And I'm going to use the stenciling tape, which is kind of a low-tack tape, so it will be easy to remove later. I'm going to hold it, I'm going to keep the stencil in place using the tape. And this won't damage the, the stencil either, so, which is great. These are reusable. So my stencil's secure on my bag, and now is the fun part. We're going to paint. And I picked this beautiful geranium color by Martha Stewart Crafts. And I have a little plate here to use as my palette. I'm just going to pour a little bit out. And then I have my stenciling brush, which is a short bristled brush, which works great with fabrics for getting into the grain. So now I'm just removing the excess paint on the brush. And I'm actually going to do it on a paper towel as well, because I want it to be a little bit dry so that I don't have any paint seeping under the stencil. Once I have it at a good point, I'm going to start to stencil. And the way I do this, I just like to hold the stencil down, and I'm just going to tap like this. And you want to go in a perpendicular motion. You can actually press pretty hard on it so that it gets into all those fibers, all the creases. And then when you need to reapply paint, you do the same thing that I just did where I put it into the paint, remove that excess, hit the paper towel, and continue. There we go. I'm pretty much finished there. But I want to repeat the pattern, so what I'm going to do is lift, carefully lift up your stencil. Look at that. See, it's coming together. And then I'm going to take this first line here of my stencil and overlap it with the last line of the stencil that I just painted. And they line up perfectly. You could even do two. I did two there. It's fine. Tape it down. And that tape, it, because it's repositionable, it sticks again to the fabric. And then again, we're going to do the same technique. So to finish the bag, you just want to keep moving your stencil and aligning it to the last design that you did. And then you can cover a whole surface with a repeated pattern. So I'm done with my pattern, and I'm going to slowly remove my stencil, making sure that I don't touch any of my wet paint. Put my stencil aside. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? It looks like custom fabric. So I'm going to put this aside and let it dry for 15 minutes. And I'm going to go wash my brush, come back, and we're going to do another pattern on top of this one. It's going to look great. So my first layer is completely dry, and now I'm going to do a nice bold pattern on top. And what I've done, the same thing I did before, is I removed this negative space of this flower. And I'm going to keep this, because this would be good to, to outline in another project, maybe use as a tag. So I'm going to put that aside. And you can see I've secured this with tape. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did before, which is pick a color. This is Wild Blueberry. I'm going to dab off all that excess paint on my little plate here. And then kind of do the same thing on the paper towel, so that we're doing that same dry brush technique. And then I'm just going to pounce. And I've chosen a, a little bit of a bigger brush because this is a bigger surface to cover at once. Let me show you what it looks like when it's done. Isn't that cute? It's so easy, so fun to do. Martha Stewart Craft stencils come in a variety of shapes and sizes, designs, alphabets, floral, geometric. You'll find it all. You'll find something for your next project, I guarantee.